my buddy in Russia, Eugene, says I need to make more of these out of the office videos. So here I am again. Bitcoin looking pretty good right now. The entire market uh, is looking pretty solid. Litecoin up over 8% right now. Bitcoin up over 3%. Litecoin pushing $95. Ended yesterday around um, let's see, $87, $88. So it's having a pretty good last 24 hours here. Bitcoin yesterday was up about, let's see, it was about, it ran even most of the day yesterday, so it was about um, 5,000. It fluctuated between like 5K and 550 most of the day, and today it just shot up about 100 bucks, so it's over 100. It's over uh, 5,150, so um, pretty good Saturday, start to Saturday afternoon here. Ethereum's also up a couple percent, pushing 170 again, so. We'll have to see what happens here. Uh, a lot of people think that it could come down a little bit after this. Uh, once it hits 6K, we might see a, a decent correction. Uh, but I, I don't know. I don't, I don't really see why that would happen. It'll be interesting to see what happens here in the, uh, once we, if we end up pushing 6K sooner than later, what happens? Uh, but overall the market looking pretty solid today. Welcome back to another edition of No Edits Crypto, episode 249, Blake Side Edition. Getting this dog some exercise here. Alright, into the news for Saturday. We have three stories here. Today, it's hard to do the news on the walk with the dog. Taking control of her and uh, still holding the camera and doing the news so it's easier just to do some stuff uh, some impromptu or improv stuff when you're taking a walk but not not really do the rundown of the news the first story is Bosch and Win Energy demo blockchain powered refrigerator electronics giant Bosch and Austrian power supplier Win Energy have come up with a blockchain refrigerator Aim to allow customers to monitor and control electricity consumption. The device demonstrates how households will in the near future be able to control their power usage in a safe and transparent man manner, Wind Energy said in a press release. The device is currently on show at the Anon Blockchain Summit in Vienna. The fridge can be controlled via a smart device app that enables the user to set the temperature of the fridge and freezer compartment, thereby directly controlling power consumption. The app also provides feedback on the device, such as sending an alert if the fridge, the refrigerator door is open, as well as giving a view or if it is left open, as well as giving a view into the power consumption over time and the carbon dioxide footprint. So, cool uh, uh, combination there of two uh, pretty well-known companies and uh, their efforts to use blockchain to. Um, tackle some energy uh, concerns. Second story is Coinbase tops JP Morgan and LinkedIn list of most popular employers. Cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase is ranked above investment banking giant JP Morgan and LinkedIn's top 50 US employers list of 2019. The networking platform for professionals published a list on Wednesday ranking Coinbase at number 35 nine spots ahead of JP Morgan at number 44. No other cryptocurrency or blockchain firm made the list. Coinbase has predominantly hired staff in engineering, IT, human resources roles in the recent past and has a current headcount of about 600 employees in the United States, the report indicated. The exchange's employees can choose to be paid partially or entirely in Bitcoin, and around 40% have some portion of their salary allocated to cryptocurrency. Coindesk has reportedly... Uh, re previously reported how the exchange offers above industry standard perks in order to retain staff. The firm has offered employees up to 5000 a year for treatments like egg freezing, the benefit which allows women to focus on their career for a time and conceive children later is provided in addition to Coinbase's health insurance options. So, interesting story there. Their story is into uh, 
segue into the market here. And Peter Brandt, which is a well-known um, uh, technical, uh, you know, analyst in uh, stocks and the market, is and has written a book on all this stuff. He's a veteran trader. Has said that um, he called Bitcoin's top at 20k during the uh, parabolic move in 2017. Has said he would not be surprised if uh, if we were. Uh, about to hit if Bitcoin was about to enter another parabolic fr uh, phase. So um, interesting story as I continue to say continue to say over the last since February eighth that I think we're heading the other direction now. Back up into the actual breakdown of the market. I covered a little bit on my walk. Bitcoin actually went up and touched fifty two hundred and has dropped down a little bit and is back at fifty. Uh, 51.56 USD up 2.71 percent last 24 hours. Ethereum climbing 2.27 percent in the green 161.59. Litecoin up 8.11 percent 59 uh, 45.43 cents. Bitcoin Cash up 8.79 percent back over 300 318.58 dollars or 58 cents. Uh, EOS up 5.28 percent 5 dollars 58 cents. To Dash up 3.13% Dash slow steady climb now 134.48 Monero up 1.77 it's having a pretty good last few days up to now uh, 68.96 Neo all this stuff starting to take off up 0.72% $13.36 Ethereum Classic up 4.48% $5.97 To Steam down 3.98%, uh, 50 cents even, almost 51 cents, to Flash, which has uh, really had a last uh, 40, 24 hours as yesterday wasn't so hot, but it is up 45.47%, leading the way right now in this market, and uh, up to 0.0044 uh, cents. So Bitcoin dominance at 50.43 cents. Or 50.43 50, 50 and the aggregate market cap just broke 180 billion. Watch out, let's get over 200 billion this week. That'd be amazing. Uh, 180 billion, 200 or uh, 180 billion, it just changed 362 million 500,000. So that is the news for today. Everyone, enjoy your Saturday.